everybody. This is a new recipe. No chocolate tonight. This time we're going to make a corned beef and potato pie. The ingredients are very simple, like all our recipes, very simple, and they're all try if you like it. Because if you try it, you'll like it. Okay, all you need is one pan. That's to cook your potatoes. Worcester sauce, but you can use any sauce. Oyster sauce, soy sauce, Tabasco, that's your choice. A little garlic, pepper, just one onion should be enough. A few potatoes, and of course you can't beat, can't make corned beef pie without corned beef. A peeler, a knife, and a masher to mash the potatoes. Very useful in fact. Okay, first let's start with a potato. Here we go. Got your peeler, got your potato. Very simple. Remove the skin. Uh -huh. Then we chop the potato. A little, not too much, just a little smaller, so it cooks quicker. Okay. There we are. That should do, about that size, you see. Put it in the pan, then we just continue until we've done all the potatoes. That's the potatoes all cut and in the pan, and we filled it with water, ready to boil. Do you want to take a closer look? You just need enough water to cover the potatoes, like that, see? We'll put it on the boil, and then we'll be back. Okay, see you soon. Okay, so now the potatoes are boiling. Here we have the onion, already sliced, and the famous corned beef. There we go, corned beef. This is what gives the corned beef pie its taste, the corned beef. It's true. Okay, we're going to put all this in a frying pan, then we'll be back. It looks like the corned beef in the pan with the onion. Now we're going to fry it, then we'll be back and add everything together. And if, of course, if there's anything left, give it to the cats. Here we go. Here are the boiled potatoes. Look, we've already drained them. Now they're ready to be mashed. Let me take a minute. There we go. Mashed potatoes. Da -da -da. Very simple. It's up to you, you can leave them a little bit chunky inside, or very, very smooth. You can add cream, you can add milk, you can add egg. And almost good. Now to go and add the corned beef. Let us go get the corned beef. Now, here is the corned beef, already melted with the onion. A little bit of water, not a lot, so that's all ready to mix. Put it all in. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Of 
come back and we mix all that together. Okay, we're back. Then we've heat to preheated the oven. We've put it at 180 degrees, top and bottom. Then when we put it all in, we put it in the center of the oven for maybe 30 minutes, that's all. Okay, let's mix all this with some garlic, because we like garlic. Yeah. Some pepper, because we like pepper. And some Worcestershire sauce. But you can use any kind of sauce. <coughs> okay, for the pastry, very simple. You get it all set up nice, ready to receive the ingredients. Put them in. And yeah. I'll do for that. Okay, next we mix all this. Yeah, this is going to be super yummy. You seen them all waiting? Always waiting, always hungry. You can hear it? Yeah. It's mixing all together good, isn't it? And if you like this recipe, because I'm sure you will, the next one is going to be cheese and onion pie. That one also, so grand myself. Uh, what should you do for that? So that looks nicely mixed in, doesn't it? Okay, then we put this in there. Try to push it to the edges, all equal. Doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, what should we do for that? I bet you want to taste it already, but the pastry is not cooked yet. Okay, we put on the top and then into the oven. Then squeeze it all together, make any kind of design you want, just so it looks more presentable to your cuddly toys, stuffed toys. You see, we've got a few new members to the family. We've got Croco here, he'll introduce himself later. You've already met Banana. going to be so good. Very simple. Very, very simple. And once it's cooked, you can eat this hot, cold, for your main dish, for snacks. Goes good with french fries, eh? Everything goes good with french fries. Even french fries go good with french fries. Mm. 
Okay, there it is. That's how it looks before the oven. And then I'll show you how it looks after the oven. The oven, you want to come and have a look? This is one that I made last month. Nah, only joking, be relaxed. Let's just come out the oven so it's still hot, eh? Let's see what it looks like inside. Crispy pastry. What is going to work inside if you can get all of it? Ah, we can't get all of it. Maybe we try a different side. But that's okay. There we go. Try and get underneath. And there you have it. One corned beef and potato pie ready to eat. Happy eating. See you in the next recipe.